Hey everybody, I'm Lax the Bacon and hang on. Hmm. I say I love that. Oh yeah, this is the Bacon Song by DJ Sizzle. Oh, that's right, I have a game playing. Which I need to switch to game input here. Play it didn't just crash. Oh, Spike Chunsoft, here we go. <clears throat> So this is nine hours, nine persons, nine doors, and uh, what are we going to do? Let's see what's going on there. See things a little better now. Ah, oh, what a weekend. It's been a lot of uh, catered parties I had to go to. Uh, family affairs, so basically running after the little ones. <clears throat> And unfortunately, this week I'm going to be also working the shift that doesn't allow me to really stream late at night. So, um, what this means is I will see if I can find some time to stream during the day, but it's not going to be this game. Dark Souls, actually. Gotten back into that. <clears throat> so, that's messing around. And let's see if we can continue with. Nine nine nine. See how loud. I think that's. Can't remember, so I'm gonna see if I can get a. Would be nice if I can get some sort of talking. Going. File, calc, flow, save, menu. No items. Ah. You can see where you are. Vaguely. <clears throat> the goal here is to get something better than the crap ending that I got last time, which is everybody died. Uh, which was really disappointing. It wasn't the first ending I ever got in this game, but uh, on stream it is. So let's. We're right now. I'm probably gonna get one of them. I got last time. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting to do something. Oh, uh, well, you know, I'll keep the. Uh, well, that's what. Don't want the display capture, we want the game capture. Yes, okay, cool. That way you're not seeing a bunch of crap you don't need. There are a whole bunch of boxes in the way. Can't get through. Oh, okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm, it's becoming clear to me now. 
We need to zigzag to get past the uh, the obstacles. Box is over here. Looks like right now we're over here. All right, let's give this wheel a spin. What? Oh, that's weird. I don't feel any resistance. Yeah. Ah, shit. <laughs> you done broke the wheel off. Good job, genius. You broke it. I didn't break it. it. Broke all by itself. Do anything broke. A hand operated winch, the wheel at once. And let's see if I can get it back on. There's a couple of posts on the back that look like they fit pulls onto the winch. Damn, no good. Little shafts are too small for this big. Bye. It's like throwing a hot dog down the hallway, to be honest. <laughs> this game, man. This game with its freaking <clears throat> innuendo. That's the case, then. That wheel wasn't originally part of this winch. Then that means... That means they want me to put together the next part of it. And I just spilled water all down my shirt. Where go B? Where is it going to take need to go back down. It's the opposite end of the winch. What? So confused. This is where you really... This game, this level turns me around like nothing else. So it looks like I need to go here. Oh, I need to go here to go back downstairs. So I think that's what we need to do and that's what the wheel... Go down here, move over, so we're gonna go there. This door. We're gonna go through A. That should put us right at the staircase. It did. Look at that, it's like I knew what I was doing. Now I need to figure out where this wheel goes. There's a pair of boxes here. Nope, no good. Remember, this was definitely a <clears throat> tough puzzle. Huge for this boiler. Okay. There he is. You really have to rely on the map here. So now I'm downstairs. Can I go around? That's the pulley. And what is this thing? Mold or on the side. Well, the shot and won't. Let's try these different rooms. Shut and won't open. There's the last one. The very belt runs into a sort of arch tunnel. No door there. There we go. That's. A whole lot of looking and not finding. Should be a little better for you guys. If I click here, it takes me to the same spot. Oh, what's this? What is this? Yo, Baldy! You had bacon on your grilled cheese today? Excellent. 
I had quite a bit of bacon today. There was a buffet uh, at uh, the party I went to. And it was a <clears throat> it was a brunch buffet, so it was bagels, bacon. Give it its placement. This must unlock the door to the left. A weird indentation on the top of this thing. You think that means you have to insert something here? Yes, I would imagine so. Again, I'm probably not doing the voice actors justice here, but whatever. There's a thick iron door blocking our way. You think this is... Yes. It looks like the exit. Looks like this door slides up into the ceiling. Yeah, I, I probably a plate full of bacon. Five or six strips. It was. It was. It was. It was a buffet. I had to. Um. Really don't know where to go from here. I got. I got horribly stuck on this last time. Okay, so this is the up here. Thing happens. There's down. I guess Ace feels like giving it a try. Move it all. Alright, none of these are moving. I'm not going to read this whole thing. Eh, alright, so they each try and they each suck. Obviously, this one needs to go down, but it's... there's... we're missing power. What is this? Up the stairs, then. Where are you going? The only thing in there is a closed numbered door. Kinda of pointless to go back. Gotta go prepare your own dinner. Alright, later man. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, it sure is. The doors of the furnace, there's a B. If I go to A. I'm here. Can I go to B? Bottom connects to the conveyor belt housing. The coal must come out of this pipe on the conveyor belt. In other words, there must be a great deal of coal in that pipe. The catwalk. There are a number of boxes on the catwalk. I don't think we can go over there. That's fine. Now we're at B. I got turned around so much in this level. So I want to actually... Oh, okay. So if I go to C and walk around, I'll reach that other area. And this is the pipe. That's a pulley system. Yeah, that's, that's where I ripped off. Right, well, let's go... If I can go here... I need to go to... Ah! An operated winch on there's no wheel to turn. Oh yeah, got the wheel I pulled off the other winch, don't I? Let's see if it fits. Boom! Goes the dynamite. Sweet, it's a perfect fit. It's like they were made for each other. Not shaky at all. Good, I should be able to turn this now. Good work, Junpei. We should be able to haul up the wooden box now. See? The wooden box. It's under the catwalk. Can you see it? It's hanging from the rope on the winch, isn't it? Dude, if you stop talking, I'll do it. Looks like there's some sort of device in the box. I'm not sure what it is. At any rate, you might as well turn that wheel now. I'm counting on you. I just want to know. I want you to know. We're all counting on you. Ah, uh, Leslie Nielsen, you will be missed. Turn the freaking wheel already! What's this? What happened? This wheel only turns to the left. It only turns to the left? Oh, sorry. That means we can't reel up that rope. That means you that rope, depending on how it's set up. You could totally reel it up if it's turning it to the left. Yeah. 
We can only let the rope down. Interesting. I don't think that will be a problem. We will simply need to go downstairs after letting the wooden box down. I will be counting on you, Junpei. He does that a lot. Fair thing, no sweat. I believe the box has reached the floor. Yeah, like you guys think I'm I'm making fun or, or like doing a stupid voice. That's how this guy talks. I mean it's Richard Upcar. I'm I'm nowhere near his level of awesome. But uh Trying. Yeah. June's down over by there. She doesn't seem to be improving. Well, of course not. She's not gonna just get better right away, you know? It'll take time. What could be causing this, I wonder? Illness, Vapors. perhaps? Yes. Nah, it's gotta be exhaustion. She gets dropped into some weird-ass ship, forced to play some messed-up game. <clears throat> if you think about it, it's a lot weirder that we aren't freaking out just like her, you know? Indeed. <clears throat> move this. I gotta move this microphone a little closer now because... Noise gate. Yo, Claybird! The weeb saga continues. Welcome back, man. How you doing? If you... Yeah. So you're saying we're abnormal? Yeah. We're just running around this room, solving all these puzzles like it's just business as usual. <laughs> Which anime waifu or husband husband will make it out alive? Who knows? Um, I definitely know we're getting a different ending, but which one? I need to figure out how to solve this freaking room first. Because I, I solved it years ago. I can't remember. How the hell could you call that normal? I hope the sound levels are okay. I can adjust if uh, I'm not loud enough compared to the game or whatnot. We're just guinea pigs. Hey. A guinea pig. You mean like a lab rat? Yes. Definitely. You mean we're being used for some sort of experiment? Dude, you've been listening the entire way. People have been telling you stories about weird experiments going on. The, the cop was telling you about kids being experimented on nine years ago. You don't put a connection? Connect the dots, dude. Is that what you're saying? Dunno. But it does seem like a possibility, you know? I say a toy. Ooh, how is it? Is it like a is it a side um two D uh, fighting game or like in the vein of the old SNES titles or is it like more like Budokai or oh, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't played that in a while. I guess we have to go downstairs. If I take A. A will take. Said if I'll take. Go through. Okay. There we are. Stairs down. Where do we get to the other side? Oh, oh. Control panel for something. Oh, look at that. Does that look familiar? I think it does. It, it's like a Tenkaichi feels. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> Sorry. Pretty sure I pronounced it right, but I have no idea otherwise. All right, this goes in here. Maybe this hole is where the control panel goes. Well, there's only one way to find out. In you go. A perfect fit. Dude, you did it. Everything looks all right. Okay, but what do we do now? Why don't you press the button next to it? The orange one? Yes, dumbass. The orange one. <clears throat> all right, I'll do that. Pushing. Sweet, all sorts of lights are lighting up on this thing. And oh yes, I think I can hear something turn on. Oh, what's that? What happened? Junpei, look, the conveyor belt's moving. Conveyor belt. Dude, are you freaking Solid Snake? I don't hear. Okay, got it. I have a better idea. Hope you're enjoying it. 
Uh, mobile games I like, but a lot, so many of them are pay to win. Uh, not their free to play model sucks. Well, I guess it's done moving now. There's still a bunch of coal on the belt, though. Looks like a bunch of it got dumped off the end of the belt into that wooden box where we found the control panel. Coal. Coal, huh? Dude. Since the belt started moving, it transported quite a bit of coal. It all drops off the left end of the belt right into the wooden box. Box filled with the coal. Well, really that needs to go in here. There's a big gear in each of the three open kits. Or would go if three of these things weren't rusted shut. Oh. That really? These are all like welded and yeah, you have to wait 15 minutes for energy bar. Yeah. I mean, look, I played a bunch of games like that. Like Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes was actually pretty good. I think the combat had a decent strategy, but like you feel like you're just getting dragged along. You know, like the game, you always get the sense that the game is giving you what it's supposed to be giving you, just enough to get by, and no more. Like it doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like it's RNG. It seems like the whole the whole experience is designed so that you like reach this point right when this thing is supposed to happen. And yeah, you know, it it didn't work. There there are some free to play games that are really good, but I don't know. Good if it's fun. I got a feeling it's important. Okay. We need to put the coal in. How do we get to the other side? I, I don't remember how to move this. Thing. Like, it doesn't want me to get to the other. If I look at the map, I'm always on the top here. But how do I get to the. Oh, the conveyor was there. Where the hell's June? Coal goes down, goes along the conveyor, comes in here. So now I need to. How do I get on this side? Oh, boy. It's basically... So there's a stairway here. The other stairway here leads to this thing. We don't want to do that yet. This, all I got is a box of coal. Really addicted to Bleach Brave Souls. Wow. Is that based off the anime, I guess? Wooden boxes. There's nothing. Hey, can I do that? Maybe there's another way down from the other side. I seriously don't remember how to get out of here. Cool. I used to watch a ton of Bleach, and then I think I stopped watching somewhere around the Soul Society. Because it was just a lot. So C only gets me back here. A gets me downstairs, and B gets me f***ing nowhere. I need A to get to downstairs. And I get stuck again. Bleach beat him up. Nice. That is cool. That's a catwalk over there. Yeah, if by catwalk you mean narrow strip of metal. Junpei, are you brave enough to cross that? If you were to fall, you do realize that broken bones would be the least of your problems. I think that's part of the ship's structure. They're like ribs that support the hull. Down I go. <gasps> oh, 
Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Plug it in, plug it in. Maybe if we can get some coal in there and set it on fire. Okay, let's do it. Coal's in there. All right, that's the last of it. No coal left in the wooden box. And nothing. Great. Well, I guess we should have expected that. Why would just throwing coal in a cold furnace do anything? How oh, well a man can dream. Junpei, explain it to me again. You're planning to stoke the furnace with coal. Which will heat the water stored up there and make steam. Which will then drive something else. Am I correct? In other words, you want to generate enough pressure with the steam to power the turbine. And drive the steam engine, right? Yeah, I guess that's the gist of it. Hmm. Well, in that case, this isn't enough coal. This furnace is enormous. So we're gonna need a whole hell of a lot more coal than this. Very well, then. If the three of us work together, then we should manage to fill it much faster. I, I wanna help- Oh, she woke up! Uh-oh, watch out. Man, I totally didn't even see her walk up. Are- are you feeling up to that? Yes. Yeah, right. You look like you're one stiff breeze away from falling over, June. I think you'd better rest some more, alright? But, I... No arguing. You need your rest. You just stay there. We'll handle this. Okay. I understand. Alright, time for some manly work! Be a man! Let's get this coal in those furnaces. Man, this is a lot of work. No shit. Alright, I think this should be sufficient. Alright, now we just gotta light it. Junpei, hand me your matches. What? What makes you think I have matches? I see. Oh, wait, I see. Then how are we going to light it? Perhaps there's a device nearby that will allow us to remotely ignite the coal. Let's take a look, shall we? Some sort of ignition device, huh? I know where that is. Oh, man, that was... That, that, that turn left is what was killing me. See, like, I didn't know you can actually go down the path here. Okay, and then you do that and you're back. Ooh. We want to actually go up the stairs. Right here. Primed and ready. Is this... I think it might be. It probably is. I think this is how we might ignite the furnace. That means that if we move that thing down... Alright, let's do it. Here we go. Hey, Junpei, Ace, look at this. There's big gears turning under the boiler here. Oh, they're all moving. Oh, look at that. Hmm, very nice. Hey, Jupe, do you have any matches? Oh, cool guys smoke. Yeah, not anymore. That used to be the thing. They're spinning. What the hell are you guys waiting for? Let's start looking! Okay, gold disc. I think we're, we're making progress here. Bronze disc down there. Now the question is how are we going to have to put them? That's in part... Okay, silver up top, gold on the left, bronze on the bottom. Let's see. And if you remember, it was this way. But it looks like this thing unlocks the door. There's a depression here that looks like it's the outline of three circles laid on top of each other in a triangle. Maybe. Maybe if we put those three discs we found into this thing. No? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's stick them in. 
Huh? That's odd. Nothing's happening. Maybe you're, I don't know, putting them in the wrong places? Perhaps you have them facing the wrong directions. Perhaps you should rotate the disc to make some of the lines connect to... Hmm, well, no harm in trying. Okay. Actually, plenty of harm in trying. What the hell are you talking about? Does he not remember what game he's in? Instructions for operation. When the disc is clicked, it will rotate a certain amount. When the white arrow is clicked, the discs are switched. Please note, when the discs are switched, the angles... Oh, sorry, for the discs are reset. Well, first off, we had this thing on the bottom, right? So we're going to put that there. We're going to do this one. too easy. <laughs> Death by diarrhea. Red lines on these discs. I think maybe I can make a star polygon with these. The clue is in actually where they were located on the gear. That made it a lot easier. Oh yeah. Death by gonorrhea. Oh, diarrhea, not yes! gonorrhea. The door's open. All right, Junpei. Why don't you go get June now? Santa and I will keep an eye on the store. Why do we need to do that? Even if it shuts, we know how to solve the puzzle now. We could just open it again. Well, I suppose that's true. Shall all three of us go and collect June then? Nah, I'm cool. I'll let Junpei handle it. So are you only interested in being contrary? All right. I'll go get June. I'll be right back. <laughs> dick. Dick, 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 dick. Oh, jumpy. Did she say jump me? Oh, no, jump. Are you okay? Bad joke. Yes, I'm fine now. I'm sorry I made you worry. So hot. I, I, oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, let me check. <gasps> Good. You're feeling a lot better. Are you sure you're all right? Hey, stick a finger in her ass? Sorry. <laughs> ah, judging by this, you're, you're, you're much cooler. Oh, you're such a warrior, Jumpy. Oops, I mean, <laughs> warrior. <laughs> <laughs> I think she just got overwhelmed by desire. All right, let's go. Go where? Oh, right, I didn't tell you. Oh, God. We got the exit open, so... Great! Let's go! Okay, nuts. Oh, it's... Santa? What are you looking at? It's a photo. It's my sister. My sister! Sister? Santa, you've got a sister? Yeah. Kid was cute as a button. Was? Uh-oh. Here we go. He gave her the shocker. <laughs> That's right, kids. Two in the pink, one in the stink. She was only about an inch tall then? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, dude's obviously upset. Oh, sorry. I guess an inch is a little large for a button. Probably more like a half inch. Hmm. Even <laughs> Junpei's like, June, you out of your mind. <laughs> Made a baboon with five asses. <laughs> Sorry. Why are you looking at it? You must be all right. It's dry. <laughs> oh my God. <sighs> I was her Santa Claus. Wait, what? Have you ever heard the story of the two Santa Clauses? It goes that a long time ago, there were two Santas. One of them wore white, and the other one wore black. The white Santa gave presents to good kids, and the black Santa played tricks on bad kids. They went on like that for a while, but eventually the black Santa's tricks started to get worse and worse. Pretty soon, 
The white Santa couldn't stand it anymore. Krampus? And he stabbed the black Santa to death. Oh, damn. Oh, ho, ho, motherfucker. Is that what Krampus is? He plays pranks? I thought he was a demon. I never saw that movie. I heard vaguely know about that. When he stabbed the other Santa, the white Santa got blood all over his clothes. And that's why, these days, his clothes are red. You could say that red is all that's left of the black Santa. Damn. I wonder Fucking dark. Which Santa I am. The white Santa or the black Santa. Didn't you just say the black Santa is now the red Santa? So you lie. Huh. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> all right. Let's go. That's all the backstory you're going to get, folks. Hmm. is a demon that punishes naughty children by naming them. Huh? Hey, what are you two doing? Let's uh, get moving, come on! Let's go. We were just wondering which one of us had the bigger penis. Yeah. I mean... Oh, you're finally back. Sorry we took so long. Oh, harming them, okay. I thought the naming thing actually was a thing. Let's go. Let's go. Which is the fish? Oh, no, that's not a fish. There was a fish laying there. Huh. Is, is this a warehouse? No, I believe this is the cargo room. This must be where they store all of this vessel's freight. There are wooden crates everywhere. Tiny. I wonder how old they are. Well, we probably ought to start with finding the exit, right? Good idea, Santa. Let's get going. Your child are now named Snuggle Snort. May your life be hell. You call him SS for short. Wait, that's not that's not good. That's not good. Oh, you must escape again. Seek a way out. All right, it's time to save. Okay, cargo room is kind of big, but it's only... I guess there was multiple... Oh, no! Look what I see! You guys remember? Often. Could that be Alice? Could it be? I, didn't I just say save? Oh. There are a bunch of bags here. wonder what's in them. Hard with a headshot. Hey, wasn't this... This was nine. The guy that, uh, in the very beginning of the game, um, said, fuck this, I'm not playing by the rules, and blew himself up badly. He ran through the door by himself, got locked in, and exploded. It was not pretty. What's that? The card. It has a headshot on it. Headshot? Yeah. I'm not really sure what purpose this could possibly serve. Junpei, you're kind of stupid. There's nothing in the bag anymore. Else, what else? Box! There's nothing inside. These crates are quite large. They seem to be tied to one another with sturdy straps. It's locked. We need the key. All the boxes have numbers on them. Do they? Oh. He spent down and picked up something that had been sitting next to the box. Junpei, take a look at this. Cards. Oh, snap! Okay, I know how this works. Alright, so we got Lotus and we got the other dude. Opens the bang and you get killed by a bullet to the forehead yeah no i think that's in the sequel there's like a gun in a door that looks like it's going right where the um straight out of saw where wasn't it like the um, uh what do they call it the peephole 
Alright, so if I use this guy, there's some number boxes and cards with pictures of all of us. Does that mean we need to collect the cards we don't have? Gonna need all nine cards. So the boxes, there's nothing in them. Two more cards. It's me. And June. So we got five, six, eight, nine. We need five more. Some sort of liquid in these barrels. Not sure what it is, however. Bag. So at least the steam engine room. Oh, we got snake eyes, or snake, which was uh, two. And clover, which is four. I don't know what's in these barrels. Judging by their weight, perhaps a liquid of some Hey, Ace is the place with the four. No card in this box. I'm trying to get out. Thank you. These stairs, they go up three stories. What are you waiting for, <clears throat> Junpei? Whatever, I'm going. It's the only door here, except for the one we just came through. And this is the exit. No shit, Sherlock. Of course it's locked. Is it an electronic lock? No, just a keyhole, right under the doorknob. So to open this door, we've got to find the key that fits that keyhole. Yes, obviously. There are several lights here with numbers from 1 to 9. Only the light with the 9 on it is lit. Looks like it's covering something. Like some kind of shutter. Maybe it'll open if we do something. What's gonna come out of it if it doesn't open? It does open. Yeah, like I know that. Well, there are six holes here. They look like jacks for a headphone cable. Jacks, huh? Maybe if we put something in them. Yeah, something might happen. Okay. All right. On. Sometimes this game plays like uh, really Jigsaw always plays a fair game. It's the people that fuck it up. I think you're right. Yeah, they try and cheat. They try and get around it. Monitor's off. Got a green switch here and a red one and some kind of lever. None of them seem to do anything, though. Maybe the power's off? Yeah, maybe. There's a single green light on the bottom, though. That means... Shit. Obviously, okay, it means something, but it means that we're supposed to know what the hell... Let's just advance, allons-y! This is the only area with a fence around it. Junpei, think you could go take a look at that? Sorry, but no thanks. Why? I've, uh, got a bad feeling about it. Got a bad feeling <laughs> Pussy. Okay, fine. I'll go. Please be careful, Santa. Yeah, yeah. Just in case. What's he gonna do with that screw? Let's see, we're throwing a screw at a fence is... Holy shit! This... Oh man. There's electricity running through that fence. Looks like it. But we can't get to the other side. Well, we could jump off those crates, but we wouldn't be able to get back. I think we can get over the fence by jumping on those crates. What are you saying, Jumpy? There's a huge electrical current flowing through that fence. If you do that, you won't be able to get back. Well, if I can move some of these crates over there... Are you even sure you can move them? What if they weigh too much? Then what are you gonna do? Oh, yeah. I hadn't thought of that. You know, Junpei, you haven't thought of much. Right, there's... The Missing. 
We got seven. We need two more. What am I missing? Junpei always jumps to conclusions. <laughs> Ooh, wait, hold on. Uh, okay, but after that. Okay, so I can get out. But it's saying, no, don't do it yet. Just one in there. I want to say I touched everything I was supposed to. Oh! Okay, so now we have eight. card nine. I hate to say this, I'm already getting tired. This is sad. You do anything with these liquids. Now we have all the people that died in the previous stream. <laughs> Almost all the people that died in the previous stream. We are missing... I want to say we're missing... No, we got Lotus. We're missing... Uh, who's... We got seven. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Who is three? Who the hell is three? I'm losing my mind. I can't remember the, the who's playing three. Snake was two. Oh, Santa. We're missing Santa. Why did Santa call himself three? I mean, three call himself Santa. Santa. Makes no sense to me. I'll be happy to accept ideas. Check just about everywhere. Break over. Throw June at it. Okay, serious ideas. As entertaining as that would be. Clearly the game does not want me to proceed here, so... Yeah, I'm an idiot. That was the one bag I didn't check. Do this. Now we finally have all nine picture cards. We just need to insert these cards into the slots at the front of each box. You know which card goes in which box, yes? Yes. Uh, yeah, of course I do. It's really obvious. You just match our numbers to the numbers, then you pop the corresponding card in the right box. So for instance, the card with the picture of Ace, the card with the picture of Snake on it goes into... Oh, uh... Huh? What is it? <laughs> I'll leave the rest to you. <laughs> Covering up your ignorance, eyes. Uh, Very nice. Hey, wait! You can make short circuit the fence with her body. What's wrong with him? Eh. Not wet enough. Oh well, whatever. Time to solve the nine box. This is not a puzzle! Ace's card is in box one. Snake. Okay, good. It's doing it I for I just me. need to do the same for the rest. And finally, the ninth man's card into box nine. Yeah, no one knew the guy's name. Right, he didn't even give himself a name. Yeah, oh, they opened. What the? Nine pins? I guess I'll take them with me. Well, we know where those go, don't we? Bet it's Ace. Uh... Ooh. 
Let's stick them in. There are six holes here, and it looks like the pins I found would be a perfect fit for them. Ones you found in the nine boxes, right? Why don't you try it? All right, let's see what happens. I think two, four, and six should go on the top part, and three, five, and seven on the bottom part. Why would he think that? Question. Happened at one. Some of them lit up. Yeah, three and six. I wonder if there's some kind of rule that determines which lights go on. Well, I put the two, four, and six on the top part, and the three, five, and seven on the bottom. Hmm. I think. I think maybe it's the digital root. The digital root. Two plus four plus six is twelve. Therefore, light three turns on. Five so plus fifteen. Yep. There you go. Makes sense, right? I see. The lights on that match the digital root for the pins inserted on the top and lower parts will light up. That's how it works. So there's one thing I'd like to check. Well, if he wants to, he's certainly welcome to. So, he put the one, two, and three, which is six. Six, seven, and eight is uh, 13, and eight is 21. Two, one is three. They turned off. Digital root of 21 is 3, therefore light 3 turns off. One. Okay, therefore light 6 turns off. Ooh, I get it now. The digital root for the pins you insert is the same as the number of the lights that are lit. Those lights turn off. Okay, we got it now. I don't know how it works. You want to give it a try. Yeah. What are we supposed to do with these lights? I don't know, but I figure we try and see. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Turn the lights on. Oh my god, I know. Sorry. Sorry if that was insensitive. Pins in the upper and lower parts will turn. However, if a digital root corresponds to a light that is already on, the light will be turned on. Goal is to turn all the lights on. All right, let's do it. All right, so to get a digital root of one, let's do something that adds up to 11. So let's do two. Two. Three. And then for two, let's do uh, something that adds up to 12. 22. Nine and eight is 17. Five. Eight. What? Oh my god, I've rushed through the rules and now I screwed something up. <laughs> what did I do? Please explain. Okay, let's make sure. Pick one of the six holes, then pick one of the pins in your hand and insert it into the hole. Keep it up until all six of the holes are filled. All the holes are filled. The lights with the numbers that correspond to the digital roots of the pins in the upper and lower parts will turn on. However, if the digital... Okay. I did I have that. Plus eight is 13. Two plus four is, six plus six is 12. So that's how it's supposed to go for that. Five plus eight is 13. 13 and nine. Two. Now we got, if I get one, six and four. I got two and four. Why is it? What am I missing it? I was going for two. Why did I get four? How do I get one? Six and seven. I need to get two. Get.
need to get 10. Okay, so 1. 1 plus 3 plus 6. That should give me 10. Now let's see, how can I get 3? I need 12. So I need... Yeah, I can't do that one. Let's do, uh... Let's see, what gets us 15? 7 and 2 is 9. 8 is 17. I can do that one. This should open up. 2 plus 7 is 9. And 9 plus 8 is 17, so that's going to give us... Yep, 1 and 8. Okay. We're getting there. Sorry. I know. So now I need to get 3. Go for 3 and... I need something that'll give us 12. 1 plus 5 plus 6 is 12. That'll give us 3. Now I need something that'll give us 14. 7 plus 3 and... Oh yeah. Now I just need 6 and 7. And hopefully we'll get it. Uh, so let's see, six. So I need I need something that adds up to I do eight, four, and three will give me fifteen. Let's see, eight, four, and three. Twelve, and that's gonna give me six. How do I get seven? I sixteen. Sixteen. So six and nine and two is eleven and. Four. 5 is 16. Oh, I got this down! Easy peasy. Fuck! Lights are on and the shutters opened up. Hey, does that mean... Yeah, we gotta do it again. Man, I thought I was doing so well. Okay, so we got nine holes. There's an F up above them. I don't know what the F means, but I do know one thing. That. This time there's nine holes. We need to insert nine pins. Man, that's boring. Well, why don't you just try it, alright? F is, uh... A, B... C, D, E, F, so we need six. The digital root needs to add up to six. So for that to work, see how it's, no. puzzles. Cross diagonal and, uh, across down and diagonal need to add up to. Start in the middle, 15 would be, um, I'd like to get, but let's, 14, five and a one. Five. Five and one is six. Nine and six is fifteen. F at six. I could do two and three. That'll be six down. Three and five and eight. So seven would give me fifteen. Seven and nine is sixteen. And eight is twenty-four, actually. Whoa. Twenty-four also equals that. So we, I think we got it so far. Let's twelve and three is fifteen, good. Fifteen is good. 7 and 8 is 15 is good. 7 and 9 is 16 and 8 is 24 is also good. And now the last thing is 7 and 6 is 13 and 2. 8 and 4 is 12 and 3. <gasps> oh my god, you tell me I figured this out and it still didn't do anything?
I might actually look this one up. This, this should work. Uh, it's 15. Okay. Right, yeah, that's got to be it. All right, let's give it one more shot. Everything has to add up to 15. I had... I had what? 9, 5, and 1? The problem I had was the 8. I had it 15 everywhere except for there. Put the one in the middle. Put the Did that work. Eight. Six. We got 15, 15. Oh, now there's not going to be enough here. Four is 15, 12. Nope, good. Oh my god, my first try, I got so close. So close. Sorry, I had to restart your computer. I couldn't right-click for some reason. Oh, that's cool, man. Thank you for coming back. F is 15 in hex, so that means we need to be across, down, and diagonal. We need 15. I almost had it with the, the code I got, but except for one screw-up. Let's see if I do one... Eight, six, seven, we're down here. Here's 15. Oh, I think I got it. Ha 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 ha! Yeah! There we go. All pins inserted, all lights lit. We did it! The power's on now. Yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, sometimes this thing works. Looks like there's electricity going to the monitor on top now. Green button, a red button, and a lever. I wonder what these do. I think this might help. What the hell is this? Where where do we find this? What is that? Where'd you find it? I found it when you were messing around with those pinholes. Looks like instructions for this thing. I don't know what it says here. This thing's a remote control for that. That? Yeah, that. What's he pointing? Oh. That machine over there. Apparently it's called the Pushmaster 5000. <laughs> That's what she said. I don't know. Are you serious? Whatever, so what are we supposed to do with the Pushmaster 5000? See the coffin over on top, on the top crate? Yeah. Don't you want to know what the deal is with it? I do. Want to check it out? Yeah. Alright, how do you think we're going to get that there? Well, there were some crates on the right side of the fence that someone piled up like stairs. Auto mold. Message is being held for review. What? It's the ice bitch. Shall, I shall allow it. 
Yeah, the moment I saw that in the map, I'm like, oh, it's Alice! Maybe if we make a path to the coffin from... What do we do that? Line up the crates? Yes? That sounds about right. I guess this is just another of Zero's puzzles. Anyway, let's give it a shot. Oh, looks like the Pushmaster 5000 runs off a battery. Keep it from using up its energy too fast. It's been programmed so that it'll only start moving once its path has been completely programmed in. Right? Keep that in mind. Material. Instructions for a machine called the Pushmaster 5000. Santa found them in the cargo room. In order to prolong battery life, it is advised that you first simulate your actions before carrying them out. Hold the lever to begin the simulation. Okay, so we have... Get the... Get the... You can move in four directions. You cannot move diagonally. If the Pushmaster 5000's move count exceeds the battery life, it will be reset. Not lift heavy objects. You can reset, you can hit back, or we can start command. Now, I was, I was actually hoping for more story and less puzzles because my brain is tired. But... Honor to show the top down view. Okay, once I. Sure thing. Just keep in mind there's a limit on the battery. The battery dies after 50 moves. That's what it says in the main. 50 moves. So I'll keep in mind that they can't move into heavy metal crates, alright? Oh. There's a crate in the way. We'll push up a single crate. Crates appropriately and efficiently. Fill the yellow areas. Oh, save. Probably a good time to save, right? And I fucked myself. Yep. Uh, uh, one of these puzzles. Pulls a gun. Fuck you, buddy, and flex the brain. All right. If I can move, if I can see it, then I can do it. Oh my god. No, 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 no. All right. It's going to take some finagling here.
Yeah, I can move on to the yellow squares. Oh, oh hold on. I see. I need to move this one in first and move it up one. It's not gonna work. Puzzle is something you see in a mo yeah it's it's traffic basic it's like a traffic type puzzle. The tricky spot is here. This is the dead spot. Because I can do this. Yeah, I'll have two and I'll have three, but I always end up with this thing You're right here. Okay, I'm done putting in the program. What do I do next? Be quiet and watch. See, it's moving already. Awesome! The Pushmaster 5000 did just what I told it to. Lined up all the crates. Great, now we can reach the coffin. We just need to climb those crates over by the fence. You can't hear me making that noise. Hype! Hey, study. Mummy! <laughs> Are you my mummy? Dumbass. Uh, really? Whatever. Just open it. Okay, okay. Open the sesame! A small key and... Na pistola! <gasps> a gun? Right. Yeah, a revolver. A uh, revolver also lots in this game. Everybody's gonna fucking die. It looks pretty old. Tortured first, though. I wonder if this is a replica. This thing is... Are these real bullets? Yes, toss them at yourself. Oh, if this is real... Oh. I think my anus can handle that kind of... You're not gonna take it? Of course not. All something like this is gonna do is cause more trouble. 
It's a powerful weapon that gives one person <laughs> a huge advantage. Santa is the younger Robert Ocelot. Start doing that whole thing. Something like that would be way too dangerous to have around. We're in enough danger already. Yeah, you know Santa's gonna take yeah, that gun. I suppose you're right. Maybe Zero put this gun here, hoping that something like that might happen. Us. In other words, maybe he put it here to make us fight each other. In that case, we should most certainly leave it here. I, for one, have no desire to let. Well, they all turn around. Jean's gonna pick it up and just ice them all. Me neither. Okay, we've got that figured out. But you aren't gonna leave that key in there, are you? Of course not. We'll take that with us. Yeah, exactly. Maybe the, the bullets aren't real. You know somebody took that gun. Somebody's gonna. There's a revolver in this coffin. What was this thing for? Jumpy. I know, I'll be there in just a minute. Gun. <laughs> hey, I guess. Back we go. On stairs to the thing. It's here. All right, we made it. I see. This key should open this door. What are you waiting for? Let's go. It's, it's opening. Dead bodies. That was fun. I didn't actually have to look that up. I don't remember that puzzle at all. A long hallway, huh? Let's check it out. There was this one mouse trap that was basically a We've revolver with a presser plate. <laughs> we got off the one on the left just a little while ago. On the other side, yeah. Then we went through the number six door, and that took us to the engine room. Having some sort of allergic reaction to something? Really fucking with my right arm. Yes, and after that we passed through the cargo room. And now we're back here. In other words, we made a loop. We're back where we started. Hmm. We needed a card to get to this point. I don't see a card reader here. Perhaps we aren't able to activate it from this location. Why don't you just try pushing the button? Push the button, Frank. Yeah. It works. Also can be used for people breaking into your house through the windows. Bang! Fingers gone. I think so. Quick, Good. check if she's what. I mean, back if we need to. What do we do? Should we return to C deck? Where's Tom? <laughs> Do that crap. No, this hallway keeps going. Even if we do end up going back, I think we should see what's down there first. I agree. Let's go. Looks like it ends here. Only one door. There isn't anything else. It's the only way to go. Wait, jump in and get laid. Finally. All right, let's open it. Cut through all of the sexual tension. But laid with whom? That's the real mystery. <gasps> the nine door. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it wouldn't be that easy. Dude, the rules. Vacant. Huh. We finally found occupied. It. Occupied. It's just occupied. Jumpy. Huh? Look behind you. Done. What? A nine door. There's <gasps> another one. Why? Yeah. It's nine. No matter how you. Or look at it. Maria. The red is there too. So this is a real one. Why the hell are there two doors? 
So that everybody can leave alive? <laughs> there were always two doors. I mean, if you think about it, Zero never actually said there was only one door with a nine on it. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Purple coin. Seek, Seek a way out. out. Seek, Seek a, door a door that carries a nine. That we can't get it out with our current party. Of course, we just assumed that there was only one. After all, why would there be more than one? Oh, man. I'm really tired, so I'm stretching out here. Uh, we fell for it. There are two doors. That means that all nine people who had met at the central staircase could escape. No one would be left behind. Now it makes sense why the bracelets are numbers. One through nine. Divided into teams of four and five people. The digital root of both teams ends up being nine. Take 1278 and 34569, for example. The digital root for both teams would be 9. Except now, one guy is dead. 349 and 15678. The digital root is still 9. There are a bunch of combinations that work, and they all end up the same way. If one team has the digital root of 9, so would the other one. Except now that's mean? fucked. The answer's simple. From the very beginning, the Nonary game was designed to save all nine people. That's how it was meant to be. Fuck you, Santa, acting like you knew the whole time. Zero didn't lie. He never said there'd be only one nine door. But anyone who'd found themselves in the game would have assumed that was the case. Fights would have broken out. One team would likely betray or deceive the other. Someone might be hurt. Someone might get killed. Well, hold on a second. This one, Snake is dead, so we lost two people. So we do with a, uh, we lost two and we lost nine, right? So let's say people fuck it up all the time. Yeah. No, but I mean the thing is, two people are actually dead, and I wonder if Santa, uh, Santa, Zero had um. Had to kill Snake to even out the game so that everyone else could get out. Let me think about that. So if we have like two, three, four. Two and three. No, I'm sorry. If we have one, three, and four. One and three. No, that wouldn't work. One, three, four. Maybe I'm wrong. But eventually they reach this very same room and realize how pointless all their infighting was. There were two doors. There was no need to kill each other. This game was designed for that purpose. This notary game. We were all arguing and fighting over doors at the beginning. But if there had been one slip up, one tiny mistake that led to more, everything could have been so much worse now. Two people are dead. What the fuck so, are you talking about? What are we going to do, Junpei? Huh? Oh, right. Hey, keep it together, man. Sorry. Jeez. So what do we do? People are dicks. Yeah, I mean, this guy, maybe this guy's just really observing human nature. I, I don't know. What do you... We need to think about our next step. Uh... Our numbers are one, three, five, and six. That's a digital root of six. Ugh. Yes. The four of us can't open the number nine door. The four? Wait, don't tell me. Yep. There's one combination that'll let three of us open the nine door. That's why I'm asking, what now? What now? No, we gotta go back. Yep. I agree. We cannot leave June behind. Oh, because if we did one, three, and five, right? One, three, and five. But then June, then who else would be left? One, three, five. So then you have June, then you have eight, seven, and uh, Lotus, seven, and Clover, who's still alive, right? So eight and seven is 15, and four is 19, and six. Somebody has to be left behind. Uh, are you sure? I I don't mind staying. 
It's okay. There's no way we'd leave you behind. Damn, Santa, really? Besides, I'd rather drown at the bottom of the ocean than escape with this sausage fest. Maybe I'll get to go to Atlanta. Okay. Uh, are you sure you don't mean Atlantis? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Junpei is a dumbass. You guys. Very well. Best we head back to Sea Deck then. We should be able to take the elevator we passed earlier. Perhaps Clover, Seven, and Lotus will have returned from door one. Right. Four and seven is 11, and eight is 19. 11 and 8 is 19 and 6 is 25, which but somebody has to even be. Even with all seven of us. Standing around here isn't going to accomplish anything, don't you agree? <laughs> Fuck you, Ace. <laughs> Let's find the other three first and then search for another solution. I guess you're right. All right, let's go. Dude, what I would have done is be taking the fucking bracelet off the guys that were dead. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Come to think of it. What is this room? We were so focused on the doors, we didn't even look around. Church. Huh. It looks like it's set up for some kind of ceremony. But what kind? But where? Dropping it down a little bit. Oh, a, a coffin. What on earth is a coffin doing in a place like this? <gasps> Wait Andrew, a minute. What the hell are you doing? Let's move. Dude, no. The right. solution. Okay, I'll be right there. That's a little weird, right? Just like, completely ignoring the shit in the room before. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I know who that is. Maybe it has a gun in it. The gun is knocking. Oh, guys, come on. You could have... Look, it's... Seven and Lotus. We've got a problem. Clover is gone. What? What do you mean, gone? When? Music's kicking up. Why? I'll do you one better. You two went into door one with Clover, didn't you? Yeah, we went through the door together. But Clover barely spoke to us. She just did her own thing the whole time. Huh. There were four rooms on the other side of door one. She wouldn't let us into the fourth room. She just said, I'll take care of this one. And shut the door. She must have blocked it with something on the other side. We waited for a while, but Clover didn't come out. We called for her, but she didn't answer. So I kicked down the door and we went into the room. But... Hmm. Kicked down the door. Manly man. It was empty. Empty as your Clover pretty little head. There. there was a door on the other wall. And it was open. <sighs> we figure she opened the door and left by herself. We ran after her, of course, but... Well, obviously we didn't find her. You figured that much out. Clover's gone. When did this happen? We got here just before you. You certainly have excellent timing. So you haven't searched anywhere other than near the staircase? No, we haven't. Very well then. We'd best separate and look for Clover. Uh, alright. I hate to do this right now, but I am very tired and this story might go on and on and I don't want to get trapped in like a really good thing. I honestly don't remember this. Or vaguely, I remember something about a coffin, but huh. I'm gonna save here. I'm gonna find someone to host, because well, just you and me, Claybird. So, Let's see who else we have here. I'm I'm tired, and tomorrow I have to do a lot of get a bunch of oh side quests. The timing.
But she vanished through the walls. Yeah, no, I'm sorry, but it's, it's it's late. I still have to get up super early. And we actually have company, like people visiting us from another country. So I'm going to play uh, pseudo host and breakfast and take them to do some tour, uh, tourism stuff, I guess. Let's find someone. Let's find someone to host. Twitch on Facebook. How you doing, side quest? Sorry for the timing, man. Let's see who's on. See if any of the miscreants are on or somebody. But I, 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 I'm like collapsing in my chair slowly. Oh, here we go. Old Willow Scrub is doing uh Dark Souls. He's in Orlando. He might be fighting a uh, fighting O and S. So thanks for stopping by, side quest. Playbird, thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it. I will try and pick this up. Playing some Star Room. It's stinky. Oh, right, right, right. Cool, dude. Yeah, I gotta get in on that one day. But one day. Anyway. Uh, old Willow Scrub. Say hi. He's a cool dude. He's playing one of my favorite games. Uh, it's Dark Souls. I will also be playing sometime this week. Catch you guys soon. And have a good one. Later. The stream has ended.